all right so it's may 3rd 2021 uh please excuse the noise the neighbor is doing some yard maintenance but as you can see here this is a milkweed there are lots of varieties of milkweed but i think this one is a tropical milkweed there may also be lots of tropical milkweeds so i don't really know too much of this plant but i do know that monarch butterflies love this plant um, they come every year and they lay their eggs and you see caterpillars all over the plant and these caterpillars go through the phases of becoming a butterfly so metamorphosis at its finest but as you can see here this plant is not necessarily a hardwood it doesn't seem like a hardwood although it probably could uh, grow to the point and mature um, to the point where it, the wood actually really hardens up but it's it's actually pretty soft um, as you can see here's one of the branches and it just dries off and it looks like this so as I always say I'm no professor of plants I am NOT a botanist I'm not a plant doctor nothing like that I'm just your simple average home grower and um, my neighbor has a big old milkweed um, tree bush whatever you want to call it um, and I asked them for a, a branch so they gave me one and um, I want to thank them for that but I've been really anxious um, about growing this plant because I've never really watched any videos on it and I don't know um, if it'll grow well from cuttings but we're, hey we're gonna try and we'll see what it turns out like um, I'm just going to cut these smaller branches here off and um, and just use the main the main branch here for the cuttings so I'm probably gonna leave two nodes on there one node that's gonna go beneath the soil and another node that's gonna be above so everything that comes through this plant from the roots through the stem will come to this node and hopefully we get growth from the node right here so I'll give you an example here so we'll find um, I know a lot of you have seen a lot of videos of how to you know grow from cuttings and it's basically the same process that I use so because this branch sorry let me get a better picture of this because uh, this cutting was made a couple of days ago it's, it's a bit dry here on the end and as you can see it's starting to hollow out so we'll go ahead and cut it and see if we can get a spot well that doesn't seem too much too much better than what it was but uh, as you can see there you got all that sap so I think the mutter the butterflies they like all this sap right here and they love eating it when they're caterpillars so that's the first node that's going on the ground and because we're only going to be using this top node we'll go ahead and cut it right down the middle right here just like that so the bottom node and the top node and it's pretty easy to confuse these if you don't keep them the right side up unless you really know what you're doing but like I said I'm no professor at this so we'll keep them right side up here for the bottom one I don't like to keep that bottom stem beneath the node too long because I want this node to basically be under in the soil when I plant it so We'll keep it closer to the node here. We'll see how that turns out. And here's a branch here. So um, because this branch is a little stronger than uh, let's say this branch, I'm probably just gonna keep this first node on this little branch and cut them right there. So there we go. That's another one. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty much butchering this plant. My cutters are very, very dull right now. Definitely gonna need some sharpening here soon. And the same process here. So, this one has three nodes, but because it's relatively short, I think I'm gonna keep all three nodes on this one cutting. There's already a node right there. And 
did it again. Like I said, we're gonna see how this turns out. Hopefully it turns out well, I'm not sure, but we can only hope. Ooh. And that's it. Here are our cuttings. I'm going to go ahead and plant them. I'm going to plant them in miracle Grow potting mix as usual in one gallon pots. And um, we really don't need to see what they look like after I'm planted. And we'll just come back um, when they've started to grow. And hopefully they do start to grow. As you saw there, I've kind of butchered the whole thing. Um, so let's just hope for the best. I'll see you guys when we see some growth. All right, so it's May 17th, 2021. It's been two weeks since we've been back to our milkweed plants and they are all showing signs of life. As you can see here down on the right side of the screen is this little guy here with some very pretty leaves popping out and that'll be our first branch pretty much. You can also see on the node there, left side and right side both have branches popping out. So every, every little thing that's popping off of the main stem is a new branch that's about to come off and all of the cuttings have signs of new branching although the top of this one that I double planted seems to be dying the nodes beneath there as you can see there there are two nodes um, on each of these cuttings there's a third node on the cutting that's starting to die and that it decided looks like it decided that uh, it wasn't gonna need that third node so it just started drying off and um, it's going to fall off eventually but the two nodes right above the soil are going to be okay and I think they're both going to sprout out branching so I think I did hear somewhere that milkweed does grow pretty easily uh, from cuttings but I never tried it out myself there are also many different varieties of milkweed so you never know which one they're talking about it could be one or a few or it could be all of them that are easy to grow from cuttings um, None of these required any rooting hormones. I don't really, actually I don't use rooting hormones at all. Um, I just try to propagate these plants or grow them um, by just sticking them in miracle Grow potting mix, uh, which is pretty a pretty good medium. Um, and it's worked out really great for me um, throughout all the time that I've been making these videos. So I've learned that that's sufficient enough for me and I've stuck to it. I know there's a lot of different mediums out there that may be better, uh, but this works for me uh, yeah we'll give them some more time and we'll come back to see what they look like then all right so it is June 7th 2021 and it has been a little over a month since we first put these guys into the ground so um, I think it was May 3rd that we put these guys into the ground um, we'll actually planted these cuttings into these pots and um, as you can see here, there is a ton of growth. And um, so the rumor is true. These milkweed plants grow very easily from cuttings. Um, once again, as usual, um, for those of you who are just now watching the first video on my channel, um, I don't use rooting hormones when it comes to planting my plants um, because I'd like to find the most effective way of growing them um, without having to use extra help. Um, although this is miracle Grow potting mix that I have them uh, planted into, that's pretty much what I've been using since the beginning and that has done perfectly fine um, so far. So you can see this one right here, he's getting a lot bigger really fast. So these are, um, if you guys don't remember, these are individual cuttings and this one would be the only one with two cuttings in it um, because the left cutting there, which is drying out, uh, that was the top of the cutting on the right. So I just cut that in half and put them both into this pot. But as you can see, the left one isn't faring so well, but the right one is going to do perfectly fine, I think. And hopefully it turns out like the rest of them. Lots of leaves here. So uh, probably this, this next um, butterfly season, I guess you can call it, we can get some little butterflies here some monarchs to come and land on these milkweed plants um, but uh, as for now I'm gonna work on getting these guys to a pretty big size so I got to be careful with transplantation as well as feeding so that I can get them to grow at the pace that they should be growing at 
um, instead of making the same mistake over and over with all my plants. That's just something I need to focus more on um, is taking better care of my potted plants because when I look forward to putting them into the ground, it isn't realistic um, that I can get all of them into the ground. There isn't, there just isn't enough room for all of them to go into the ground and still be able to have them because the property is leased over at the farm and it's only a matter of time before we move on to another property. So um, I'm gonna try and keep as many um, of these plants as I can in pots and hopefully we can get them to grow um, at the rate that the ones at the farm are growing. It's just a matter of fertilization and um, proper care. But as for the milkweed, that's all we got for now. Uh, we'll come back in the future, maybe within a couple of months to see how they look then. But um, that's a short video on how easy it is for these plants to, um, to sprout out, grow, even though they're grown from cuttings. Although I was a bit skeptical um, seeing the cuttings, the center being a soft core, uh, it turned out really well. So thanks for watching. Um, we'll see you on the next uh, video with the milkweed.